I'm Staff Sergeant Patrick Scott. And I'm Staff Sergeant DJ Ellison. Today we're going to learn how to accurately align our audio levels so that all the sources are consistent. This will become a standard throughout all the affiliates in the AF in Europe. Remember, your setup might be different than ours, so please adjust the steps accordingly. Since you're going to be adjusting your audio levels during a live show, it is important to follow these instructions. Pot the eagle on your live board or Axia element at the time that is least intrusive to your audience. All right, so this is the AFN headquarters tech core. And as you can see, just like your lineup, we have our satellite decoders, and we have our Waller monitor, which we're going to refer to often. We also have an XY router, which you may or may not have, so we'll give you a way to do it with that or a way without it. And then this is our patch bay. We're going to be using that a lot. And then through the computer uh, is how we're going to dial it to our Axia network. So each of our satellite decoders, as they exist inside Axia, are called IRDs. We're going to go into the Axia and we're going to change the pad that's on them right now, which is probably set at a negative 4.6. And we're going to go ahead and bump that up to a level that we want. Inside the Axia node, change the gain on all satellite sources, or IRDs, to 3.5 dB. This is done by logging into the node through its IP address. Do this on all sources except the Eagle and PowerNet. Do not adjust those yet. To bypass your system, start inside the Axia. This is probably IP address 172.16.20.31, destination number 2. Route the Eagle IRD, probably 1, to destination 3132. Using patch cables, go from 3132 to 8586. This bypasses the tone decoder and routes the Eagle as an AES source into an analog source. Tune an unused IRD, we recommend country IRD5, to channel 300. By unused, we are speaking of one that does not play at any time during automation. You should have a test tone on this channel. In Axia, route IRD5, or the IRD you chose, to Tone Decoder 1, destination number 1. Before you route it, take note of the current source before making a change. That way you can come back to it later. Using patch cables, go from the Tone Decoder 1, 2930, to 8788. In Axia, route 8788 into the Wooler. Or you can do this using your XY router if you have one. This allows you to see and hear your test tone for monitoring. Inside the Axia node, change the Tone Decoder 1 destination to negative 10 dB. Verify that your tone is now at negative 24 on the Wooler monitor display. Move the patch cables from 2930 to 3738. This will allow you to see the audio leaving the tone decoder. Physically adjust the pots on the tone decoder until you are at negative 20 dB on the Wooler monitor display. Change the tone decoder destination back to its original source, or AVSAT. This will be the one you took note of in step 4A. If you pull the patches now, the board will be live again, and should be playing the eagle that you potted up in step 1. Once the DJ is able to take control again, you can now change the eagle to be 3.5 dB gain inside its respective Axia node. Bypassing Tone Decoder 2 will be done as the following. In Axia, route PowerNet IRD to destination 3132. Use patch cables to go from 3132 to 8990. In Axia, route IRD with tone 
this should be the same one from the previous steps, to tone decoder 2. Using patch cables, connect 3334 to 8788. If your routes from previous steps have not been changed, you should now have tone on the Wohler. If routes were changed, please refer to the previous section. In Axia, change the gain to negative 10 dB on tone decoder 2. Verify that the signal is at negative 24 dB on your Wohler. Move your patch cables from 3334 to 4142. Adjust the physical pot on Tone Decoder 2 until you have negative 20 on the Wohler. In Axia, change the gain on the PowerNet IRD to 3.5 dB. In Axia, route the PowerNet IRD back to Tone Decoder 2. Pull all patches. Go into your studio when it's not being used and pot up your satellite sources. Place the fader that is controlling the feed at negative 10 on the board. This is where the blue line is. They should be averaging at negative 20 on the dBFS meter on the Axia display and peaking no higher than negative 10. So when we discuss meters, we're actually discussing different standards used by different brands. Your Adobe system, or an Adobe Edition, is using one standard that you're going to use at negative 12. The AudioVault system is using a VU meter so your levels will be at zero there. And in Axia, they're using a DBFS standard, so your levels are going to be at negative 20. All of these are measuring the same thing, just in a different way, much like we use feet, meters, or inches to measure length. Now that we have our audio aligned and a better understanding of reading the meters, we should produce more consistent shows. There will be a set of instructions sent out to all the affiliates that will coincide with this video.